hi. Um, right, so rather than doing a not review today, um, I was just going to talk about an author which um, was one of my favourite authors from when I was a kid and I recently discovered that she actually writes adults books or wrote adults books as well. Um, so you may have heard of the Moomin Trolls because they've been experiencing a bit of a resurgence at the moment. Um, we even went and had a look at the Moomin Troll shop when we were in when we were in London, which was yeah, it was a shop basically. There was some really cool art prints, um, and I'm actually really tempted to get some anyway because they are beautiful. Um, when I was young, my cousin and I had we had the whole collection of her Moomin Troll um, novels between us. We used to just swap them around all the time because we both adored them. Um, at the moment, the only Moomin Troll book I've got is Who Will Comfort Toffle, which is just beautiful. It's such a lovely book. Um, it's full of gorgeous artwork, and as with a lot of her work, it's really filled with um, a melancholy. It's it's not it, it's not a straight children's book full of happy things. Um, and there's no there's no disasters. There's no terrible things that happen, but there's just there's real sadness infused through it, which when you read a little bit about her life, you, you do understand a little bit. Um, she was quite an unusual lady um, and very talented. I mean, look at some of these pictures. Aren't they beautiful? It's gorgeous. Um, apparently my dad has somewhere still got all my Moo and Troll books. I must get them back from him at some stage. Um, some stage. I don't really know when. But look at this. You know, she's gorgeous, and it's just such a. They're such unusual books that even as an adult, I recently reread one of her children's books. I think it's Finn Family Moo and Troll, um, which was one of my favourite ones when I was a kid, and it was wonderful. Um, so yeah, just a really interesting author to check out if you're looking for something different. Um, I do have a couple of her adults books as well, and um, it's something that I do kind of notice with a lot of Nordic writers. She was Norwegian. Hang on, let me check. Actually, to say, I think she was Norwegian, um, Swedish. Sorry, <laughs> um, but there is there is a real sense whether it's because they do have these massive long hours of darkness um, through or days of darkness through the winter. Um, there is a sense of sadness that, that tends to imbue things, and that they they write some of the most beautifully poetic work that I've ever seen. That makes me wish that I could you know speak Swedish or Norwegian so I could read it in the original because it must be incredible in the original. Um, but this is this is a lovely book, the summer book. Um, essentially, it's just the description of the summer that a young girl spends on an island with her grandmother, um, which was something that Tove Jansen did. She had a small island um, that she and her partner used to. They they spent all their summers on there. They lived there pretty much full time, I think, actually. Um, and it's gorgeous, and it's just worth checking out for something just a little bit different. It's not, there's no driving plot, there's no action, there's, there's no murders or excitement or, or ghosts like my normal books would probably have, um, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful and it gets inside your head, you know, it gets inside your heart and, and yeah, I think it's worth having a few more books like that. So if you haven't checked out a Tove Jensen book, you can check out some beautiful picture books or you can check out some of her novels and apparently she also has done a, um, a murder mystery of some sort, which I haven't managed to get my hands on just yet. I'm slowly collecting her adult books, um, yeah, which are a very different experience from, from reading her kids' books, but if you haven't, take a look, which is fantastic.